I'm here in the art book gallery at the moment, so I thought I would jump on here, say hi to everyone, um, and show you some artwork. All right, let's get into it. So this is my wall. Um, where Ma Attracta, Andrew, and myself are showing here at the moment. So this is my wall with all my watercolors, and then this is Mom's wall with her really big oil paintings and then Andrew's wall need to stop calling them mum and dad <laughs> Andrew Manson's wall um, back here with his lovely acrylic paintings on plywood um, I've done a whole load of really pretty uh, watercolours so I'll just show you some of them here we go. Okay, so this is one. It's super nice. This is the Butterfly Nebula. Um, so they're all uh, watercolors. I think this one is one of my favorites. It's so cute. This one as well. Super cute. So they're very small pieces as well. So you could do like a little gallery wall you could hang them on your wall like that or you could you know get them closer together or they could if you've got like a small space you could definitely put one up there I've hung them just with command strips so that you can like easily move them around and stuff but they're very sweet little paintings oh, I'm super cute too they're all available here <laughs> in the gallery Oh, my nose is all red from wearing a mask. Okay. Um, oh, this one here is cute too. So what I've done is I've uh, reclaimed some old frames. So I was able to do that because I was working in the Copper House and I was actually framing with them. And I learned a lot of tips and tricks and skills from the guys over there. Uh, this is one of my watercolors. So cute. And then mom and dad's work as well is really nice. Um, so this one is 1.2 meters by 1.3 meters. It's called Ash in the City. It's an abstract piece. It's very big. And then this one is called Nature and Nurture 5. I don't know if you can see, sort of like a figure almost. Again, it is abstract, because so you can see whatever you want to see. But she does layers and layers and layers of oil, thin oil paint to make her art beautiful. Okay, and then Andrew's pieces here. This is snowdrops and rhubarb. So he says a lot as well that um, this piece actually shows a lot of global warming because it was too early for the rhubarb to be growing that much when the snowdrops were out this year. And he thought that was kind of changing with the time. So he thought it was really important to paint that. So that's that one there. It is. 23 by 40 centimeters and then this one it's gorgeous isn't it it's called snowdrops it's 55 by 86 centimeters and then you've got this really big piece here back laying an arc low and so what he did was he actually um saw this view every day for over a year and he always said that like um the only thing that would change is the washing on the line and the direction of the sunlight. So he painted it, uh, the same scene in different, in different days. So yeah, <laughs> that's our show here at the moment. Um, I'm gonna go back over to my stuff, because I like it. Um, yeah, that's me. So it was nice to jump on here and say hi. Uh, I hope to hear from you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.